Hey, what's up? It's Josh from the Dialed In Hunter. I have just completed my second week of keto and a uh, little bit of a different, uh, I, got, I have a change of heart for keto. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, unfortunately, it's not in a good way. Um, I honestly, I feel great. Uh, energy's good. Uh, I don't have any weird gastrointestinal issues going on. Um, been recovering good from workouts and I just feel great overall. The thing that's really gnawing at me is just the food. <laughs> um, I never thought I would say that I was sick of eggs and bacon. Like, but now, like sitting here right now, I can't stand it. Like the aftertaste of it almost makes me want to gag. Um, I'm just getting super sick of super sick of that stuff. Plus, there's so much butter in everything that that uh, is keto, and uh, the butter's really gnawing at me too. I said in my last video, I I stopped putting butter in my coffee, which I'm I'm still not doing that. But um, now I have. I'm gonna try something else new here. I, I'm not eating eggs and bacon or anything like that in the morning. Um, I'm trying pancakes. There's like some, there's keto pancakes. So basically, it's only uh, two eggs. Um, I put a little vanilla in there, and oh, cream cheese. They're cream cheese pancakes. Sorry, and uh, two ounces of cream cheese and some monk fruit and I put that in a Nutribullet and blend it up and that's the pancake mix. Um, those are good. I, I really like those. Uh, way better than the eggs and bacon or omelets I was having for breakfast. So breakfast is the one that's really getting to me. Uh, lunch has been okay and dinner's been totally fine. But yeah, I literally like, I, I almost quit. I almost threw the towel in because of just because of breakfast and just because of like how I was kind of getting also um I was kind of getting constipated a bit uh over like the past week with keto so I don't know if I was eating too much of one certain thing or or what I have, I have no idea I've been tracking all my stuff though my macros have been pretty on point and um that's that's been all good but um yeah i'm kind of <laughs> i'm kind of really looking forward to it at this point uh july 1st <laughs> i'm gonna try and stick it out though to see to just to see you know how i feel and stuff but and i'm gonna do so i just recently checked this out i uh i found a company called next mile meals um they make I don't know if they're dehydrated or freeze dried, but they make keto backpacking like dinners and stuff. So I have those actually coming to me right now and I'm hoping to get out this weekend on an overnight scouting trip with them to try them out. I got, uh, I think one of them was like some Italian meatball thing and then there was some other uh, chicken broccoli meal that th they looked really good. So I'm gonna try those out and Hopefully uh, next time we talk, I'll have an update and kind of let you let you all know how those were, so you can try and bring them into your maybe your food system if you're doing keto. But I mean, honestly though, like for me with the keto thing, I'm like it is in my opinion, it's not it's not sustainable at least for me, just because there's like in there's nothing refreshing. To, <laughs> I don't, I don't know everyone that's doing keto out there is probably like hitting the screen right now you know but like I, I don't know I just in the morning I my like ideal breakfast in the morning is like a bagel and cream cheese or like a yogurt with fruit and granola and coffee or something like that I just don't think of eggs and bacon and avocado and stuff like that and I know that's all really good and I really enjoyed that stuff when I first started doing this but now I definitely feel different about it and it's kind of hard for me to eat at this point just because I've eaten so much of it um, so trying to mix things up with the cream cheese pancakes hopefully that works out 
Um, I found a couple new smoothie options as well, but until that's that's my week two update. Sorry it wasn't super positive. I try to be positive about everything, but I want to be honest with you. Um, I'm just not keep like some diets just aren't for everyone. And fortunate the, the fortunate side of all this is I don't feel like crap or anything. It's just literally like I am so bored with what I've been eating. Um, so in light of that, if you have any uh, awesome keto recipes at all that you want to share down below that I might be interested in, drop them down in the comments. Please let me know. I, I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts are on it. Um, but as I sit here right now, I am really looking forward to July 1st to not be doing keto anymore. So, <laughs> but until we talk again, uh, hopefully I'll have that update for those next mile meals. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you all next weekend.